Hi, I'm Eddie O'Coin, reporting from Data Tech in Tampa, Florida, with a special edition of the Cyber Advisor. In our last episode, we talked about the as a service model and its far reaching effect on the IT industry. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most exciting developments to spring from this movement affordable cloud based IT security in the form of firewalls as a service. So stay tuned for this edition of the Cyber Advisor. In our last episode, we talked about the as-a-service model and its far-reaching effects on the IT industry. Today, we'll talk about one of the most exciting developments to spring from this movement, affordable, world-class IT security, made possible through a partnership between Data Tech and the leader in advanced network security, secure remote access, and data protection, Dell SonicWall, in the form of firewall as a service. If you pay attention to current events, you know that security breaches are a daily occurrence. And this doesn't tell the whole story because many small and medium-sized businesses that are victimized choose not to publicize it because it's in their best interest to keep a security breach under wraps. In fact, according to the 2015 Cyber Threat Defense Report published by CyberEdge Group, 71% of organizations surveyed reported that their business had been compromised by a cyber attack in the last 12 months. Most recently, AshleyMadison.com, a site that caters to spouses looking to have discreet extramarital affairs, was breached by a group of hackers calling themselves the Impact Team, who then followed through with a threat to release very specific personal data on millions of individual clients. I mean, what an alarming betrayal of trust. <laughs> Behind me, you can see a real-time cyber attack map illustrating just a small sample of attacks that are happening right now against just one single company, Norse Corporation. Norse is a threat intelligence firm based in Foster City, California that gathers information on attacks happening to its infrastructure, records where they're coming from, and informs its customers to block the malicious IP addresses. Malware, short for malicious software, is a type of software designed to damage or disrupt a system. Now, malware threats are created and introduced every day, but just how many is pretty startling. Let's go to Mike Puckett in the Data Tech Threat Lab for some further insight. Mike? Yeah, thanks, Eddie. I'm here in uh, Data Tech's Threat Lab. It's a bit chilly and a bit loud in here, but we'll try to get through this. One of the most well-known forms of malware is a dreaded virus, which is a small piece of software that can hijack, corrupt, and even delete data from a computer. What's worse is it can also spread and infect multiple computers within the network. Uh, there's also the Trojan horse, which is typically disguised as a legitimate application, but once it infiltrates a computer, it can wreak havoc in numbers of ways, such as recording passwords and even can taking control of a webcam. Other forms of malware include rootkits, botnets, worms, spyware, phishing, spam, you name it, they're all out there. All of which cause problems ranging from moderately annoying to potentially catastrophic to a network. Cyber criminals today are becoming more sophisticated in their methods, and as such, so are the tools used to thwart their attacks. With that being said, a, a business of any size today that doesn't have a modern, fully updated security solution in place is really exposing itself to dire risk. Hey, and with that being said, I'm heading back to the studio before I catch something nasty in this threat lab here. Good idea, Mike. That threat lab has more viruses floating around than a Bangkok brothel. <laughs> a company's first defense against outside security threats is a firewall an appliance that inspects the data broken up into small packets that travel in or out of a network or workstation. Firewall technology has advanced rapidly over the past several years in order to keep up with increasingly sophisticated attacks on corporate data. Next generation firewalls took traditional firewalls to a new level by performing a more intensive inspection than first and second generation firewalls. They incorporate deep packet inspection or DPI to more effectively analyze the data packets for harmful threats. In addition to looking at the header, footer, source, and destination of incoming packets, which is what traditional firewalls do, DPI also examines the actual data within the packet. This provides a far higher level of protection against the myriad of network threats out there today. 
But even with DPI included, there was still a gaping hole in firewall technology, encryption. Websites, or certain pages therein, become encrypted through the addition of a secure socket layer, which uses a cryptographic system to keep data sent over the internet private. Now, there's something of a dirty little secret in the IT security industry, and it's not something most security providers like to disclose. A traditional firewall cannot inspect encrypted traffic. Let's go back to Mike, this time in the data center. Mike, why is this important? Yeah, thanks, Eddie. It's, it's good to be back here in a safe environment. That was pretty scary in that threat lab. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a major problem. Uh, a recent study found that 60% of internet connections at the end of 2014 were encrypted using SSL. Add to that a recent Gartner survey which found that less than 20% of organizations with a firewall, an intrusion prevention system, or a unified threat management appliance decrypt inbound or outbound SSL traffic. Basically, in other words, over 80% of companies with these safeguards in place are left vulnerable to attack through encryption. Cyber criminals know this, and it's an avenue that they're actively working to exploit. Data tech partner and IT security leader Dell Sonicwall patented a full stack stream inspection engine known as DPI SSL, which stands for Deep Packet Inspection of Secure Socket Layer. This takes DPI technology to the next level by allowing the firewall to actually open and inspect encrypted traffic, effectively protecting networks against threats hidden in both encrypted and non-encrypted channels. Mike, would you say this is an absolute necessity as part of any effective IT security plan today? Yeah, no question at all. Not only is it a necessity, it's also very realistic to incorporate. Well, technology like this was once very expensive to adopt, this feature now comes standard as a part of DataTech's firewall as a service offering. Now that's a major development and brings us to the focus of this discussion. Let's talk about firewall as a service. As with other as a service offerings, firewall as a service effectively initiated a shift in power back to business organizations. For one thing, it allows companies to escape the continuous capital spending cycle that was once the norm. Under this model, companies pay for their IT security through a single monthly payment based on what the organization actually uses. But the benefits of firewalls as a service don't end there, do they, Mike? Yeah, not by a long shot. Let's just start with scalability. As a company grows, bandwidth requirements increase. Instead of buying a whole new appliance to accommodate this, bandwidth can easily and inexpensively be scaled up or down with firewalls of service, depending on the company's needs at any given time. Another benefit is 24-7 availability. Firewalls have to be fully functional at any given time to be effective, so through firewalls of service, availability is never an issue. Thanks to DataTech's privately owned contemporary data center, which ensures maximum availability all the time. And what about expertise? How important is it to have a qualified and trained expert or experts overseeing and managing the security appliance? Oh, oh yeah, it, it makes a world of difference to have expertise on your side. Data Tech has a special team of engineers in-house that have undergone extensive training and certification to specifically manage Dell SonicWall firewalls. This is their specialty. Very few providers can boast this level of expertise. And what about threats that emerge from internal sources, whether through simple carelessness or intentional sabotage from, say, the guy in marketing who went off the deep end when the break room was out of bananas? <laughs> in many cases, internal threats can be just as dangerous, if not more so. How does firewalls as a service help on this end? Yeah, that's, that's where content filtering comes into play. And Dell SonicWall firewalls incorporate some of the highest levels of content filtering available today for just that reason. Businesses of any kind assume substantial risk by providing employees access to the internet. Uh, that's why DataTech's firewall as a service incorporates this powerful protection to block access to harmful and unproductive content. And what kind of reporting can customers expect to receive when they adopt firewalls as a service? Well, the solution provides customers with highly detailed insights into the activity on any given network. Uh, this includes details on how threats were introduced, uh, potential weaknesses in the network, as well as uh, bandwidth and web usage, targeted as deeply as an individual user. 
reports like this are invaluable, not only to recognize where threats originate from, but it also grants companies concerned with governmental compliance peace of mind. And in the end, that might be the greatest benefit of Datatech's firewall as a service solution. The peace of mind that comes with world-class level security at an affordable monthly price with no upfront costs, provided through a partnership between Datatech and the worldwide leader of high-performance network security and data protection solutions, Dell SonicWall. We've only scratched the surface here, so if you'd like to learn more about how adopting firewalls as a service can benefit your business, or have any questions relating to the IT industry, we encourage you to reach out to us today, either by visiting us online at datatechitp.com or by calling us at 813-874-5511. From Mike Puckett, I'm Eddie O'Coin. Join us next time on the Cyber Advisor.